Hello everyone. How are you doing out there? I hope you are doing great. It's me again, Rafi Yaku from Excel Graphics Studio. Today we are going to work with text tools in Photoshop part two. So the first thing we have to do here is to create a new document. I go to File, click on New. Then today, name of our tutorial is a uh, text to part two. We we'll click OK. With reference to my first uh, text to tutorial, that is the part one text to text to tutorial. I have explained how you can use text to how you can color your text and so on and so forth. So today I'm going to show you how to use Blender for text and how to use half point for text and uh, how to use uh, uh, text tools to get a distort uh, perspective tools with uh, and so many other tools in Photoshop. So the first thing we have to do now is to create a new layer then go to our text tools so when you click on your, your text tools at your menu bar you will definitely see text uh, text tools property so click on the photoshop work area then you can type whatsoever you want to type so for the sake of this tutorial i'm going to type log then press ctrl a to highlight come to this place you can increase the font of the text the font size of the text so having done that then you can change the position of the text from this uh, right alignment to left alignment text something like this so when you click that one come to this color palette double click on it then you can as well change the color of the text once you are done with the color you click OK so once you are done with all this setting then you can leave it OK by clicking this check mark So having done that, then before you can move your text tool around in Photoshop work area, all you have to do is to go to uh, your pick tools and click on the pick tools or move tools. Now you can move your text to any direction. So another thing we can do is that press Ctrl H, then choose a vertical and um, a vertical alignment center, then vertical uh, horizontal center so once you have centralized your test then press d to deselect that do to deselect the interlace so having done that another thing i want to show you as far as text effect is concerned is that you can come to this text layer this is the layer right click on it convert it to choose a rasterized type when you choose rasterized type you can begin to apply so many effects on this particular text so let's start from a perspective go to edit when you go to edit select transform from transform look at the drop down here and choose perspective when you choose perspective something like this is going to appear around the text so the first thing you can do is that uh, you can begin to rotate the text in any direction of your choice until you are satisfied with the text effect you are good to go so once you are satisfied with text effect so this is it so this is a perspective effect of the text so having done all this and you are satisfied with the stuff then you click ok if you are not satisfied press ctrl z it will go back to the previous effect then another thing i want to show you is how to use a uh, 
distort then go back to edit choose transform when you choose transform then click on the uh, distort so distort is also an event on its own you can begin to drag to whatever position you want if you want it to have to start from the lower uh, letter to the top so depends on how you want your text to be so all these things are very simple to do in uh, photoshop but before you can apply all this effect one must rasterize the text that's the most important thing in photoshop so let us delete this one away and take a look at another thing we can do with our text so we click on the delete so another thing we can do as far as text effect in photoshop is concerned is that let's go back to our text tools then type whatever you like and then i love my tutorial so once you are done with your typing the first thing you have to do before you apply any text event is to press ctrl a then come to this particular place at the menu bar of the text uh, property then come from this style you see the photoshop is telling you that none that is you have not applied any text effect so just click on the the stuff then all this drop down idea for your design you can pick up any stuff you like if you like this anki you pick it if you like the arc upper just click with around with the bend and play around with uh, the starts distortion horizontal and the uh, vertical all these things are effect that you can use for your photoshop so if you are okay with it then just click this particular check mark at the menu bar of the text property then after that go back to your move to press ctrl a to central to bring out the interlace then choose alignment uh, vertical center then alignment horizontal center once you are satisfied with the centralized of your test press ctrl d to deselect so another thing you can do as far as this thing is concerned is that you can right click on the text layer go to blending option you get to blending option this kind of dialog box will pop up in your photoshop so all you have to do here is that you can give it a stroke when you give it a stroke the text will come out in more normal way you can give it a drop down shadow so and play around with the text option blending option play around with it until you are satisfied with the stuff then you can decide to give it a gradient overlay so you come to this gradient palette you can select from another color then when you pick this one you can change the color to your uh, choice of color all these things are very simple things you can do in photoshop so all you have to do is to follow the procedure and uh, follow the way i'm doing the stuff and i'm very sure you'll get it so if you don't like all this color just play around with any color of your choice you and change to from the from the gradient editor you can change to whatever color of your choice so once you are okay with all this stuff then you click okay then another thing you can do is that you can create a background for for your design then come to this uh this down below of, on the layer palette click on this one and when you click on it select the uh, gradient when you select a gradient something like this will pop up then you can also click from this particular place and change the your know, color the color orientation you can change this one to whatever color you like then once you are satisfied with the color stuff then you click ok so you can also come from this to this place change the style to radia you change the style to radia you can as well 
inverse it. When you inverse it, then you can as well increase the scale of the background, something like this. So until you are satisfied with your with your stuff, then you can just leave it okay once you are satisfied. So I'm good with this stuff. So if this video really helped you, all you have to do is to subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for more video tutorial I'm bringing to you live on YouTube. So thank you for watching. See you soon. Bye.